Columnist and author Shobha De's tweet on Mumbai snowballed into a major controversy with both the MNS and Shiv Sena attacking the author for being blunt about an independent state of Mumbai. Shobha De, however, ignored the personal attacks made by the two parties at her and refused to withdraw her comments, saying that it was a satire after the decision on Telangana was cleared. It doesn't deserve a comment. It doesn't deserve a comeback. It reflects on the people. With these words, Shobhade making it clear, she's not taking a step back. Hours after her tweet on providing an independent entity for Mumbai created a political storm. There's no question of backtracking and there's no question of defending it or apologizing to anyone because what I've said is not offensive in the least bit. It was merely meant to point out that today there are divisive forces in the country, political opportunists taking advantage of situations. That's it. While MNS chief Raj Thakre took a jibe at the author, which many believe was personal. The Shiv Sena went a step further, describing the author as hailing from the page 3 culture. Nobody has attacked her. Everybody has reacted to her attack. Her, the attack started from her. Who, have, who had provoked her to say about these things? If Shobha Day has all liberty and freedom to make a comment, yeah, then, make a comment, One then, then everybody, as, as a free citizen of this country, I have a right to criticize. If, if when I exercise my right of criticizing, then you say it is attack, is a personal attack. As the controversy raged on, some political parties urging the government to take action against Shobhade, hinting at a law and order problem if it fails to do so. Shobhade is a citizen of this country. Shobhade is a citizen of Mumbai. She lives in Mumbai. Shobhade has the right to a view. So if she articulates a view, counter that view with a view. Do not get personal, do not get virulent and this is a culture of intolerance and in, this is 2013 and this is not on. Political compulsions or signs of intolerance, the debate is out. But the latest controversy reigniting an old question, is freedom of expression really free? Bureau report, Times Now.